Como é que é, pessoal? Sejam bem-vindos a mais um episódio aqui do Shanecast. Estou aqui hoje, nesta tarde de sexta-feira, com o Nico Journey, diretamente de Santorini. E vamos trocar um dedo de conversa aqui, eu e o Nico. Vamos falar de muita coisa, música, um, e, and anything else that pops up in his head, his life in the US and stuff like that. So, yeah, Nico. Introduce yourself to the people. I'm in the cover of magazines. It's an explicit magazine. Yeah. Yeah, bro, that, that. Niggas never catching me, bro. You yeah. know, Nico Journey, a.k.a. Yannick Magasso. Sou moçambicano, jovem, solteiro. Um, wow. Yes, sir. Uh, e, elas podem me contactar? Uh, não. Não. <laughs> okay. E estou uh, aqui com o Alan no Santorini. And, you know, we out here. Yeah, man. Nico Journey. Uh, when you start to write magazines, bro, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to start from that. Because I'm ready to start the... I'm going to start the money, but we can take it a step back, even a bit before The Arts of Sales, man, which was your debut album in the yes, game. Sir. Like, I want to understand. I, I want you to take me through the journey. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> of you, um, tipo, para chegar onde estás agora, you know, because as we all know, um, tu fizeste parte daqueles que fizeram o, fizeram parte do, do Exodus from Media Fire onto like SoundCloud, you know? Yeah, yeah, shout Aquele out Mark grupo, Exodus. Yeah, shout out Mark Exodus. Aquele grupo de jovens que, que fizeram parte dessa transição, né? Então, gostaria que, you, que tu nos levasse numa jornada, in, in terms of like you telling us how you got there, who were the people that had the most influence para tu chegares nesse step e tudo mais, you know? It, it would be interesting for us to have a look at that. Oh, of course, definitely. Um, eu uh, faço parte da geração SoundCloud de 2015, Uh, transição Media Fire SoundCloud, também faço parte da geração 2019, 2020, transição em inglês a português. Uh, então, um, são muitas metamorfoses that you got to experience. São, you sim. Know, é, em grupo, em coletivo. In a very short sabe? time também. Yeah, realmente é engraçado uh, dizer short, né? Nós, when you live through it, you know, it just seems, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, kind of like endless, mas... But you know, five years é tipo um bebê que já está a se preparar para ir à escola. In some cases, até já vai à escola when the parents are like too busy and stuff like that. You know, so... It's Alan, not, it's, quando tinha cinco anos de idade, ia para a escola sozinho. Yeah, eu estava na pré, bro. Fogo, <laughs> ele anda na street. Yeah. It's a hard knock life. Yeah, bro. So, you know... Um, eu digo que o meu... Uh, o meu debut no game é para sem contar necessariamente King Cis, estamos a pedir silêncio no estúdio não, 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 não faz sentido não faz sentido estamos aqui com King Cis, King Cis, cumprimenta lá o people aí do o King Cis está num momento de frustração, mas é Fome e extração, fome extração, se assim yeah, posso dizer. Fogo. É fome mesmo. Fome, yeah. fome de su Cisi. Ser su ter Cisi, sucesso bro? no game. Bro, ok. Põe lá guarda na água aí, bro. Ok. Uh, <coughs> Como eu estava a dizer antes do Cipriano... Uh, invadir, põe lá bem, bro. Invadir o espaço. Ah, uh, sim, antes do Cipriano... Epa, ele está a me ajudar. Yeah. Muito obrigado, Cipriano. Antes do Cipriano me interromper, eu estava a falar sobre um, o meu, a minha estreia. Eu, eu fiz algumas músicas no movimento Teen Music. Uh -huh. uh, durante o ponto de 2013, 2014. Um, gravei com P-Rap. Uh, eu era da school de Fireboy. Uh -huh. Auras Boy. Yeah, yeah. Gajo Maus. É, é, Wiz Calisto também. Uh, King Sisi estudava no Kitabo já. Ele fazia parte da Young Money, do Moz. A TMG. Yeah. 
ele, Gplex, ah, vocês sabem. Não boga, shout out, não boga. <risos> shout out, não. Um, e eu não, não era um dos mais maus, uh, eu rapava em inglês uh, e só estavam tipo, é esse caso, e falas bem inglês, eu a rapar. Hum. Um, eventualmente parei um bocado uh, e durante a décima primeira, décima segunda, por aí, um, tive a oportunidade de... Ah, sim, sim, me deixou no passado, acho que é porque eu não tinha swag. E, e não, não batia bem jerk. Acho que para entrar na TMG, tu queres bater 10 speed drops seguidos. <risos> eu, não. By, by the way, by the way, on a side note, back then, todo o nigga que sabia fazer pin drop was like at the All top. The you know, era tipo, when it comes to like you being like the jerk, se você consegue fazer pin drop, that's like an extra. Yeah, it's, I, didn't have 20 it, I didn't have what it takes to be part of a jerk group like TMG. For real? Yes. But Tim, there was not a jerk group, bro. Back huh? then, back then the jerk <laughs> groups era mais da BVMG. TMG. Um, the no, guys but... that were running uh Festival de Jerk at the Angel, uh, aquele gajo no Val do Paulo and all those niggas, you know. They were the ones that were, that were running the the jerk movement. Também, também TMG não era uma team de jerk, mas King Cis era uma team de jerk. Okay. So, <laughs> um I've been talking about the viagem, I'm not going to say anything. Hoje que na uh no fim da secundária, né? Décima primeira, décima segunda. Yeah. E tive a oportunidade de conhecer o Trix, o Ailton Matavela e o Kevin Emanel. Uh, otherwise known as Dollars and Hands. E... <laughs> e... Um, conheci o Trix no meu prédio. Yeah. Ele veio para o meu prédio. De fato. Eu falei com ele no SoundCloud, disse que gostei de medo. Uh, ele veio para o meu prédio, ele estava de fato, ele estava a fazer um estágio no Banco de Moçambique e tinha acabado o curso de psicologia, então ele estava num momento em que os pais estavam lhe a dizer You're gonna be a upright, upstanding citizen, hein? Mm -hmm. Então, ele era uma estrela para mim nos meus jogos no SoundCloud, mas na vida real ele era um failure. In the eyes of his parents. A phony. Right. Tá a ver, mas nós todos éramos phonies. Menos King Sizi. E... Um, Éramos young people trying to figure out what we wanted in life. Aqui em Moçambique é muito característico um jovem de 18 anos ainda não saber uh, exatamente qual é o seu, seu calling. Yeah. Porque os nossos pais, a partir da sétima, a part, se estás na quinta classe, eles só estão preocupados com as tuas notas para passar para a sexta. Yeah. Sexta classe, uh, caderneta. Sétima, caderneta. Oitava, caderneta. Décima, segunda, caderneta. Até a escolha da décima classe de letras e ciências, nós tomamos por razões banais, como like, eu não gosto de química vocês estão a entender e isso é o que define o teu trade pelo, pelo resto da tua vida and a lot of us uh, well, most of us, aí o Tricks acabou a faculdade e, em, numa cena normal uh, mas a lot of us were very much like, hey bro damn, like, I'm just gonna fit in and we didn't fit in yeah. you know, so even our music didn't fit in So, um, quando eu conheci o Tricks, epa, gravei a minha primeira música no SoundCloud, chamada Love Suicide. Uh, e depois disso, uh, gravei a minha própria música sozinha em casa, chamada Monopoly. Era uma trap. Então, logo no início da minha carreira, lancei uma música a cantar. E depois lancei uma trap logo depois. Yeah. Então, muita gente que fica tipo, ah, like, yeah, desde o início eu preparei o listening bass, do estilo, yo, I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna show you guys that I have feelings, but I'm a smack a bitch. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And like, and like, um, pimping ain't easy. Like you, 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 you get introduced to the SoundCloud music scene, and you're just there. Doing your own nah, thing. I didn't get introduced to it, honey. I invented it. You invented it. I was there when it all Tricks started. Tricks had a suit on. Aye. So like, aye, cool. You're there. You're doing all this stuff, but like, what was driving you? You know, what was inspiring you back then? You know, like there wasn't much more motiv motivation for y'all to be there because like, there wasn't like money. There wasn't, you know, no endorsement deals. Oh, 
pelo menos está a receber uma, uma sneakers, you know? Just for the fact that you're making music. I don't think y'all are making shows because the show movement only started like later, 2017, 18-ish, 16, around that like time. We, we had shows, but like, we had shows. I'll say are that. Are you talking no, about like festival money? No, not like that. Yeah. Like smaller things. Yeah, smaller. Bro. Okay. No, but it was. It still was very like, like that shit wasn't happening, Nasidad. Yeah. We weren't happening. Yeah. We were like parallel to like the reality that was really happening. Mm -hmm. Nobody, people didn't even girls like, girls didn't listen to hip hop, like in, in 2015, not like that. Yeah. Da sala, você não podia reparar uma letra. And people think you're a fucking normal dude, bro. I swear to God. Like, it's like, hey, bro, okay. Okay, you're right. There's always a lot of hip-hop enthusiasts. Niggas who love Lil Wayne. We remember the mixtape era. Yeah, we used to go to school and talk about hip-hop, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect it to be in the general awareness of everyone who's there. Right. You know? So, even music making, Moz, Nintendo, music industry. So, we're not making any money. And we're not cool. Yeah. You weren't cool as a rapper in 2015. No, not really. No, you weren't like ask the rappers do kita, but eh, como os gajos tinham malta festival por acaso. Yeah, new joint. Yeah, like, like the okay. rappers from but they weren't doing it they they started from hip hop, hip hop. Like the new joints and all that. But then they had to adapt as well. Like there was a time that they were doing like Afro House, they got into the Kizom, but you know that, you know, because there wasn't that general acceptance and you know yeah so. that's true and we were like at the cusp of the trap like you know the rise of trap music yeah. uh which is one of the leading factors é um dos fatores um dos principais fatores para hip hop music ser o gênero número um do mundo neste momento um mas yeah like trap era uma cena muito like no and also we were the cyber like generation mm. the first people to use like things like instagram twitter uh trans you know and uh as promotion tools yeah as promotional tools you know just to get our things like out there yeah uh i think i don't even think that there were stores on instagram really yeah when we started releasing music and trying to like you know so we was trying to like sell shit yeah. through things like instagram and What what were we in it for? Like, nós sabíamos que nós não queríamos o que estava disponível. Ah, não queremos ir para a televisão. A televisão é off. Ah, so, então vamos ficar na internet. Ah, media fire now, bro. Essa é o passado. Like, we were definitely the rebels. We were uh, fighting against the system. And we kick-started, like, the revolution. That's what it is. Like, uh, we, we took a stand. Yeah. Vocês estão a entender e... Não tomamos muitas decisões que talvez não seriam tão beneficial for us que a geração 2019, 2020 tomou. Mm. Like, but we needed to see what we were made of, mm. you know? What we had in it for us was figuring out who we were because we didn't just want to be part of, you know, we could see uh, aqui like a vida, like é muito fácil tu simplesmente go down on road que you end up like living a very unremarkable life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, uma vida em que tens que, que te contentar yeah. uh, e nós dissemos não, nah, bro, não é que nós estamos a cuspir no nosso prato ou não dávamos valor ao que era, era nos like, providenciado pelo nosso país mas nós achávamos que se nós reiterássemos essa cena, then like things will never change, mm. like corruption, like anything you know what I'm saying? There have to be some people who say enough and we said enough no. that's, that's really really dope I must say, because it shows that you guys were doing it for the love of music, I want to assume. Yes, sir. In first Definitely. place. And then secondly was, you were doing it for a noble cause. We, it, it wasn't like for fame, or cantar para pegar pitas, you know that. No, no girl wanted you if you was a rapper. Was the, like was, was the love, like that. Yeah. was the love of, and the thrill of, Yeah. Being part of a movement that's like being amazed by your peers, bro. Eu ouvir uma música de tricks, ouvir uma música de dollars, ouvir uma música de Kong, ouvir uma música de, de Sizi, like ouvir uma música de Millie, like in hey, time. Like, wow, yeah. this nigga really did that. Damn. Yeah, bro. <laughs> damn. Like, and going to school, it's like nothing really changed, but it's like, mm. damn, that happened. So 
you don't only believe in yourself, you believe in other people. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we were doing. We were believing in each other. Uh, un concerto. Até o tempo, até o uh, festival maninga. Antes, aquele semana antes do festival maninga, aquele fuga. Yeah. Half the people there were artists. If not most. Yeah. We were the ones who were celebrating each other. The people who were listening to your songs were other artists. Yeah. Sizi. Ah, tá fazendo na tua food, não na minha porquê, bro. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> Está ligado, bro. The, tá bem. As madames não não. Hum, yeah, numa sorry. Cipriano tá me falar aqui de. Well, actually, I'm, you know, I never had the chance to go to like a festival morning or focus sessions and all that. And it's a very interesting point that you're raising now, which is. And I th- and I feel like that's a very nice cue for us to s- talk about the present, which is um in the beginning in the beninginning in the beninging in the beninging um it was mainly artists celebrating other artists like the music was just going around in a very small circle type thing, and from a certain point onwards, a few things happened, you know, and then it went more it went more. Uh, it sort of I wouldn't say global but it expanded like the reach increased so um do you f- what do you have to say about this transition period when the music just when the music started like you know finding new roots of its own new channels and more people started listening to it you know like more wh- people started getting on social media without a doubt just like the potential of it. You know, when people... Pessoas fazem comparações de... Quantos utilizadores Moçambique tem no Instagram comparado com o Facebook. Yeah. Estilo... É Miguel Otávio do Facebook, mas... O Instagram já teve muito menos... Utilizadores. Utilizadores. Então, mais utilizadores... Like, mais comoção... Mais... Uh, facilita a, a possibilidade... De, de sensacionalismo. Yeah. Que é muito necessário. Yeah. YouTube work like that. The first YouTube legends, as primeiras lendas de YouTube, são malta Ryan Higa, like Fred. Eu não sei se vocês lembram de Fred. Havia um gajo no YouTube, um gajo com voz fina. Like, bro, YouTube was not like... So, there's these like first people who are like the legends that define that you can get a million views, you can get two million views. And then the rest like follows, you know? Um, eu acho que, mesmo antes de nós fazermos as cenas em português, as cenas estavam a abrir um bocadinho mais porque haviam mais pessoas interessadas em música de alta qualidade. Porque yeah. no início, aquela wave de malta, ah, vocês querem ser americanos so bad. Eventually, the, the ear of the listener, yeah. because they were also exposed to more and more current music from outside, mm. música de fora. Não só estávamos a curtir música na Trace, estávamos mm. apanhando no YouTube, Mixtape era. Tu sabias quando ia sair uma cena, as pessoas começaram a ficar mais informadas e mais correntes. Hum. Até o ponto também de sucessos internacionais, como Malta Migos, não sei o que, que internacionalizaram hip-hop, de alguma forma. Hum. Até o ponto de que você está num carro com teus amigos que escutam House, começa a tocar Raindrop, Drop Top. Hey, as pessoas já sabem real, o que fazer, tá a entender? Real. Like... The, the, they need to understand the language. Rock and Roll precisou de Elvis Presley. Para as pessoas entenderem a língua. Uh, uh, aquele gajo, Vanilla Ice, like, é um gajo que teve, o, acho que o primeiro hot, o number one, the hip hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you always need something, like an MC Hammer song for people to like, really understand what the hell's going on. Yeah. You know, and what we were doing, we were being very artistic and creative. We were being very alternative, yeah. all of us, in a way, even with trap. Yeah. We weren't being very straightforward. Yeah, because most of y'all were like doing plug. Yeah, like, like yeah, doing like, yeah, all of these like regional kind of yeah. styles. Mesmo nos Estados Unidos, nós não estávamos a fazer música comercial americana. Então, dizer que nós queremos ser americanos, mas não estávamos a fazer amigos. Like, é pá, eventually, uh, we start to like grow as human beings. E like, gravar música não, já não é um surprise. Mm. Like, you see the surprise element of you doing something that is like unusual. Quando nós estávamos a fazer músicas um pouco estranhas, nós também estávamos a tentar nos afastar da realidade moçambicana. Estávamos yeah. a tentar, like, be escapist. Estávamos a tentar escapar, mas parámos de tentar escapar. Isso é, uma, é um aspecto de, like, 
grow older. Yeah. É like tu paras de tentar fugir da tua realidade e tu like abres tipo, like a tu simplesmente seres tu. Por exemplo, uh, a aderência. Nós não mudamos como pessoas. A música mudou, talvez a língua, mas nós temos as mesmas personalidades. E Moçambique está nos já um, Moçambique está nos já like a padrinhar. Yeah. Na mesma, you know? Because you're a Mozambican, no fim do dia. Eu acho que no início, não havia esse senso de, like, um, orgulho. Mas o público moçambicano começou a notar que nós não tínhamos representação internacional. Yeah. Porque era isso que eles escutavam. Músicas internacionais. E houve um certo tempo que nos comparavam com artistas americanos. Yeah. estilo, você não é Travis Scott. Mas, bro, você já entendeu? Like, What are you listening to? Like, you, yeah, like, if you're able to to create this parallel between my sound and the Travis Scott sound, it means you can, that you're listening to a lot of Travis Scott mm -hmm. yourself. Yourself. So, am I wrong for so, trying exactly. to please you? Exactly. So people you? kind of like they themselves like went through this like thing. Like, hey, quando você de tanto você press that button, fica já perceber que e like cada pessoa tem a sua realização na sua casa, yeah. não em público, porque em público é tipo vocês querem ser americanos, vocês querem ser americanos, mas no play eles ficaram a perceber que, bro, eu quero ouvir música de alta qualidade. Yeah. De cá. Yeah. I don't care who it is. You know? And people started, like, giving us more props. Even before we went to Portuguese. They were, like, on some... Yeah, this is... Like, é como na África do Sul. Like, um, o, a, o pride de pessoas escutarem músicas sul-africanas. Em 2015, malta... A.K.A., bro, malta... Não era toda a África do Sul que escutava hip-hop. Tipo, hip-hop. Like hip hop mesmo, bro, mas de repente virou uma coisa que they took over culturally, you yeah. know what I'm saying? E mesmo cá, todos os outros estilos de música não estavam a oferecer o aspecto lifestyle de hip hop. Nós também éramos young niggas, não tínhamos mais nem condições para estarmos a vos mostrar, tipo que todas. It's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Mano. But yeah, and, and people noticed, and they would like pick on us because of it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas ain't doing shit, y'all niggas on the track. A falar sobre I'm flexing on you, não sei o que, que mas estou a ver aqui, estás a andar, estás à espera desse passo, etc, bro. Like, it was very, it's easy to punk hip hop because hip hop is about like this, like dominance and stuff like this, Money. you know? Um, but at the, at the same time, like, not only was there the, you guys sound American criticism, but as you said, the quality of production increased. And then a new kind of complaint started popping up. And I, I must say that I was also part of that wave of people that were complaining, which was the whole, um, uh, y'all niggas got to start rapping more in or singing more in, in, in Portuguese because not everyone is able to relate. That's Some of true. the lyrics w had references that were very real to the American reality and not ours. Where yeah. at, at, at some time, at some time, at at some point in time, I even found myself having to go to, to to thingy, to like urban dictionary to understand some things because I just didn't know, you know. No, I don't want to say like. love, say, Musa, me gano kike cookie. Kike cookie when when me goes this cookie. Slime, oh, you know, all that jazz. Yeah, I think that's true. So like, um, how? Like, what was the. É que já haviam rappers que estavam a dizer malta ba. Tá a entender? Não é que não haviam. Só que não éramos nós. Ok. Eu realmente. Acho que esse complaint era válido, without a doubt. Nós gostávamos de música ocidental. Eram as pessoas que nos inspiravam naquele exato momento. E. É isso que nós queríamos ouvir, hmm. é o que nós escutávamos. Yeah, it's it's fair, it's 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 not. E it's na, fair e na, on e na your música well. e na música lusófona, eu acho que nós não estávamos a ouvir o progresso. Ok. Na música lusófona havia pessoas que estavam a dizer, bro, vocês têm que repar para esse valete. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Nem trap boys nada, mano. Valete Sam the Kid é o que eu gosto. Hip hop em português, tá a entender? Então, like hip hop português não tinha mais nem guidelines que nós podíamos seguir. Yeah. Eu vou dizer isso. Não havia muitas formas e muitas estruturas para nós seguirmos. Nós criamos esses flows. Yeah. Foram inventados. Yeah. Não é que nós uh, finalmente we folded and we decided to follow a wave that was already happening in 2015. There was mm. no that. Like, um, eu não sei onde definimos o início 
dessa wave. Uhum. Eu tive uma conversa com o Cisi um dia e nós até achamos que uh, a tape do Gimeta Tempestade e aquela música Bag Comigo, like, anuncia. Achamos. Numa conversa, like. O, uh, 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 o que, que achas que saiu antes? Um, it's not what I think came up oh, before, right, sure, sure. but like from conversations that I've also had with other people, the first plug tape to come out was by Mace Perp. I remember that, yeah. but I, I In think, Portuguese. but I actually think that like Bad Comigo came out like before, before. We'd have to check. Um, please. We'll have to check. We. Please, I, I um, also say the yeah. same thing. Mace Perp, you're Mace. there. You're definitely there. I just, I just kept it, the recollection of it was back comigo, but definitely Mace uh, came with a with a with a plug tape in Portuguese. That shit was hard. Yeah. I remember, like, and I saw that this stuff was like fostered in Eden's like yeah, room, room, right? Yeah. That's super wild, huh? That's super wild. Capitão. That Eden is 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 definitely a part of creating this new wave. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Espirudo. Back comigo, Mace Per, Pep Drip, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These kinds of, like, moments marcant. Yeah. You know? They, they kind of, like... No, I was just like, I was just checking something there. In the no, 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 that's all right. That's all right. Uh, but that was, uh, that's kind of like... um. <laughs> but, like, also, now I want to share a story from my side of the first time I came across your content, which was in um, Popo Swag's track... What was that? Pin pop. Pin pop. Yeah. That's, that's when I ever f- heard a Nick beat. No? Nico Journey in this case. And I was, yeah. and I was like, damn, son. Like, who, who, who's this guy? Because what was happening is, boy like, fresh. De La Vega had just dropped, like, one track. And we're, like, waiting for the second track from De La Vega. And then I come across that purple like track and i'm like what so there's other niggas doing this stuff you know what 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 was the what the la vega was doing back then and then this guy comes through and i'm like hard bro hard bro i'm like 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 hard bro Saw some some saw some of the stuff there, the other stuff on wavy leaks and all that, you know, yeah. you know that's that's how I. That's crazy. Yeah. So like, what was it like, like working on your first project? And this is the cue for us to st- to talk about your first project, the arts of a salesman. What was it like? Uh yeah, epa. Depois de um bom time, the Malta sound clouding with uh with dollars and tricks you know making rap music and making my little like alternative music at the crib i moved to the u.s in 2017 so yeah. when i was there i went to the film and uh, uh i decided that i had to launch a project official because i was launching small pequenas compilations of music yeah like so i thought i had to do a body of work um, Passou algum tempo lá nos Estados Unidos, fiz alguns concertos, graças a Deus, like, uh, e tive muito apoio dos meus amigos próximos, eu não era famoso, yeah. mas like, eles, eles acreditavam muito em mim, as minhas capacidades. Uh, eventualmente eu decidi fazer um projeto, reuni todos os produtores, que eu achava que realmente... Um sentido. Yeah, 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 que, que, que realmente like, iam levar o meu som para o próximo nível. E fiz o The Art Salesman, uh, gravei a metade, a maioria dele em 2017. Uh, foi em 2017 não, eu lancei The Art Salesman em 2019 acho eu eu fiz em 2018 yeah, yeah. Eu, fiz em, eu gravei em 2018 eu cheguei nos Estados Unidos em 2017 em 2018 eu comecei a gravar The Art Salesman o primeiro ano eu estava a me ambientar ia lançar mais singles e coisas desse género yeah. ia melhorar a mixar também eu mixo e masterizo as minhas músicas uh, acho que a pessoa que me fez fazer isso foi Tricks, Dollars, Dirty More dollars, but dirty too, definitely. Um, eles gravavam sozinhos e faziam engenharia própria. E yeah. Os mixes do, do Tricks e do Dollars sempre eram melhores que os meus. Mas hoje, mano, podemos discutir. Juro. <risos> Juro. Fair enough. Uh, Fair mas enough. Um, 
like, eu decidi, like, yeah, deixa-me lá lançar uma cena bem. Bro, eu escutei Home Alone em 2015, brother. Yeah. Então, era quatro anos depois e eu ainda não tinha lançado nada com a mesma fidelidade de áudio, yeah. mano. Qualidade, bro. Então, eu disse, bro, what the fuck? E eu, está na hora de mal eu saber fazer essa cena, estou a brincar de fazer isto. So I released that album to prove to myself that I could do it by myself, mm. bro. I wasn't like supported big like that. Também não estávamos a fazer muita música que não... It não wasn't tinha fitting nenhum, in with like, the... Like, not in Green Green. Yeah, not in Green Green. Não tinha um, like, um conceit like, comercial. Like, não havia uma forma de um investidor vir para mim e dizer, ok, eu vejo o dinheiro nisto, né? Mm. Porque também a, o lançamento de música moçambicana internacionalmente é uma cena que nós like, desacreditamos subconscientemente por causa de situações que tivemos com MC Roger ou com like Panza, meaning sensação cá, mas não conseguimos realmente trazer aquilo e, e criar uma diferença internacionalmente. Yeah. Why do you think that's the case? I have I have my my view sure, on sure. it, and I, I want to share it. I feel like in comparison to like let's say Afrobeats, um, sure, okay, back in the day, manta quasa quasa and all that our diaspora isn't doing the work to push those sounds. Because True. Yeah. Ver, you went to the States, right? It doesn't, it, no money, but I, getting I, those I, homies of yours that we usually see on your Instagram, listening actively yeah, they, yeah. to, let's say, who? To, I don't know, Gimeta or yeah, yeah, no Lay Lizzy. Mm. It's like steps bro it is because they can get other people to listen to those guys and then it moves down the line that's true so obviously you weren't the only mozambican in the united states right yeah, so let's true. say all the mozambicans in the united states were doing Push that. the yeah definitely and then all the mozambicans in portugal all the mozambicans in france germany etc shout out in South Africa, diaspora you know? man we need you yeah everybody we need needs, you everybody everybody like, here we every, don't, yeah, we don't right? have an industry right yeah so o que resta somos nós. That's 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 how, for example, pizza with pineapples has been able to like get to where he is uh, now. And today he's going to take it, bro. <laughs> today, toma yeah, gravar hoje no take, dia. That's why I'm not even like you know what I'm saying. I ain't you know, even sweat because like, we need we need that kind. You know that kind of stuff that's happening there. That that's what is supposed to be happening. Y'all go listen to pizza's music though. I'm gonna tell yeah, you this. Bro. Don't just be voting for the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, to we need to get. Music. We need to do that work after. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. He's like, bro, let the nigga pop. Then we go like. Yeah, we need to we'll keep, get familiar. Yeah. With yeah. It. Then we need to do that work. We need to like get people to not just be there when it's all like most we on moments. But it's nice, to, Joe. Just having that, I I have to admit, I can, I can act like all like, but bro, it's true, bro. Hey man, Esnad Mazuyan is already like it's how you start everything. That is yeah, true, man. But it's Sometimes like a I'm like, bro, like it's yo, a syndrome. It's, as it well. is a syndrome. I call it a syndrome. It, yeah, it, it can become like not as because good. like it's sometimes like, we just want to, you know, Nico Journey. Um, yeah, because if I show up in in, in colors, like y'all niggas gonna love that shit, but I'm gonna be like, yo, bro. Like, but then, you yeah, know, <laughs> like so I gotta say, y'all like, like, like hey, what man, I'm doing? Like, 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 you know, bro, is that the when that shouldn't be the point? point. Like, that nigga, should what? not be the point, it Joe. Know. It shouldn't be the it point. The point here is listen to his stuff. Yeah, because right. Like most of these guys, especially the SoundCloud guys, as we've we've said. They didn't start doing this thing for money. Not really, views, no. Views and all that. That wasn't even the point, bro. Like, all these views and what is just a subproduct of the passion that they put into Without the art. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's how I view this whole thing of, like, how it is that, like, no se sana so batting locally and then outside. All right. I, re I really respect this conversation. It informed me, too, you know, because, like, the responsibility of the people, you know, sometimes... Like, I remember, my father told me, like, that we didn't be able to get a certain song. But I came to a conclusion that when we talk about Afrobeats, like, music Nigerian is not strictly Nigerian. Like, maybe it's regional. Maybe it's more about your region, Central African, West African, like, music. Yeah. And all of these things kind of touch. Um, and someone made a mention of the style de música moçambicana, uma pico, yeah. e me disseram que uma pico, like a percussão de uma pico, if you slow it down, it sounds just like Afro beats, like, it's like, tic, 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 tic. it's like all of that, you mm, feel me? Mm. E mesmo o Panza, para mim, tem certos aspectos, o Panza tem aspectos de música latina, 
Yes. Reggaeton has yes. more reggaeton, reggaeton styles, and, rock. and that's why like there was this like yeah there was this like potential. Yeah, remember, there remember was international potential when Lisa James started. She was the queen of raga. Hey, but Sunday. yeah, yeah, hey, raga is interesting, yeah. You know, when, hey, that when, one bling, hella yeah, raga and when they up. started, it yeah. started on me. That one to bling, man. Na, 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 na. Wait, do, do, do. Beach the Timberland, and you know, le, le, and you know, interest, interesting enough. Speaking of which, Panza has a lot of like marbenta elements in it. It does definitely. There's a this lot like a lot of marabenta elements in it. You know? But like that's the thing about it. What my dad told me is that marabenta wasn't a national sound, bro. Yeah. He said that marabenta was the music of the south. Okay, the region. Yeah, like the, the region. region. Like people in the north and in the center didn't listen to marabenta like mm. that, bro. You know, and that's crazy. We didn't find an identity. And he said that Panza was the first time that the whole Mars was united by one rhythm. Yes. We were all dancing the same move. Yes. From north to south. Yes. You know what I'm Those saying? Those were the first niggas to like, I wouldn't say first because the, then there's like Zayda Shongo, but like. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Definitely. A lot of pride. Music. There's a lot of musical yeah. pride. But those were the first young niggas, young niggas to move. Rovoma Alma, hey, Rovoma Maputo. Zumba or Indico, bro. We're all dancing. Like, no, every Friday. What's your next move? You know, bang entertainment leaders. Definitely. We're yeah, just leaders, waiting. Definitely. We're just we were waiting for them waiting. to like. It was a phenomenon. We all yeah. felt it. Yeah. Definitely true. Yo, RIP to bang, though. Yeah, like, man. I'm going to tell you that. Bang, like, definitely. Bro. But it, it also says a lot about the moment that we're living, you know? Um, that was in 20, 2005, 2006, 7. Like, yeah. you feel me? And like, it didn't really build up too much. Yeah. Because because it was the whole thing, like the hip-hop versus Panza. Nigga, That's man. true. There was a lot of infighting. Same yeah. as like when we started in 2015, it was a lot of like, nah, oh. bro. Like, if we validate that, that invalidates this. Exactly. And you know what's the most fucked up part? Um, I watched this podcast, Daniel G's podcast. and um, Shout out Daniel G. And DJ The Moss raised a very interesting point. He said, um, they created the... A very Mozambican sound, and people that were singing or like you know they were like part of a, a sound that came from outside were the ones that were invalidating them. So like hip hop, you know, comes from the oh, states. Oh yeah, very interesting. Yeah, definitely. Like hip hop people, they created like almost Panza. yeah, really, they created almost really like sound, wild, huh? original sound, like almost sounded that if it was pushed properly, it would identify us the same way that quiet to identify South Africa. It's like, film. but like, is these like hip hop niggas, is these Sam the Kid niggas that powerful though? Bro, but the thing is, Mr. Kuka, DJ Ardiles, DJ The Most, um, como é que é aquele outro gajo ali? Zico, Daniel, all those niggas were rappers. I get it. Right? No, that's right. Oh, so like that, but that's the, but I don't think they, they saying that they suffered from internal shame. They're saying that they kind of got like, you know, derailed. Like, tá bom, tá bom, já dá. Maning, uh, maning, ma basically. Vocês vão dizer que mal desse underground tem um punho de panza, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, no, because panza is like a uh, fucking buy hater. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas make yeah, no money. Y'all rap niggas make, 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 make no money. money bro. Yeah, yeah that's that, the like, thing is. Y'all rap niggas make no mas, money. Bro, when tu irmão, tá, 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 já vira aquela cena, tá, já dizer, né? Imagine if like. When the KM all of a sudden just turned their back on you, especially now that Damn, like boy. you've been experimenting a lot of sounds, they're like, "Fuck, it's not okay." Yeah, who does he think he is? Yeah, that would get me. It would throw me off. You feel me? But so I that's the like, thing. The the, that's the same thing that happened with them. All right, I feel obviously, Manta like... Daniel, you were making money, but the niggas that were with you from the start are now turning their backs against you, speaking ill of you, hey, making these tracks about you. Um, that is very true. You know, Epa, like, but I, I'll say like just to like encapsulate the energy of what we're talking about to like present day, like, yeah. um, time passes. Like, time is what heals all. Like, yeah. And we weren't sure in 2015 if the time from 20, 2005 until 2015, say like time was he if there was healing happening. Mm. It seemed like we were gonna be in this perpetual cycle. Mm. Uh, e eu acho que quando do, chega 2009, 2019, após eu lançar o The Art Salesman, que é completamente em inglês, eu estava em São Francisco e eu ainda estava a pensar se eu estava a tentar atingir o um mercado internacional, mas quando eu estava nos Estados Unidos eu passei por muita coisa, um, epa, na procura do, do, 
to my objective, uh, no pursuit of it, yeah. which was get a degree. But it's crazy. I had just turned into an adult. I wanted to figure out who I was. Yeah. Eu queria perceber quem eu era como pessoa. E durante esse tempo, epá, muitas questões passaram pela mente e eventualmente eu, eu disse a mim próprio, like, epá, talvez eu tenha de levar, uh, tenha de me afirmar aqui no Ocidente como um moçambicano. Hum. Uh, não só como uma comodidade internacional sem identidade. Tá? Vocês estão a entender porque vocês não conseguem ver a minha identidade nacional. É muito a minha música early, yeah. necessariamente. Não era uma reflexão da minha realidade. Era uma reflexão da, da minha, do meu psique mm. e das cenas que eu, que passava, que eu passava. Um, eu uh, apercebi-me uh, nos Estados Unidos uh, de algo que o meu pai tinha me dito antes de eu ir para os Estados Unidos. Ele me perguntou por que é que tu achas que nos Estados Unidos eles estão à espera de ti? Ele Como disse, um artista? Porque, sim, ou... de ti. Porque eu, eu disse ao meu pai que a minha música não conectava com os moçambicanos, era mais ocidental e eu precisava de ir para o ocidental. Yeah. Ele disse, tá bem, mas por que tu achas que se tu não consegues ganhar em Moçambique, vais ganhar nos Estados Unidos, onde há pessoas lá, que são você, mas de lá, que estão a, que estão a, que estão a tentar o seu máximo yeah. para estar à frente? Será que tu és tão forte que tu vais chegar num mercado desconhecido e tu vais te separar? E nos Estados Unidos eu aprendi que like, requer muito investimento para esta cena de música e não só sensação. Um, podes ter o talento. Pessoas à tua volta podem dizer que tu rapas bem, cantas bem, mas isso não é necessariamente tu criares uh, sustentabil sustentabilidade. Like. Então, um, eu fiquei a perceber que eu tinha que criar o meu base. E quem é melhor para eu atingir a não ser o moçambicano? Yeah. Essa foi a minha decisão pessoal. Eu disse que o moçambicano tem um dever de, de me apoiar. Yeah. Uh, ele tem um dever de ficar feliz porque eu estou a suceder. E eu preciso de pisar esse botão de uma forma mais intencional. É por isso que eu comecei a fazer música. Já pessoas tratam-me, parece que sou... Like, a sério, bro. Velho Chico, com tricks, é um clássico, aquela, aquela cena, bro. Like, I have, I have songs in Portuguese with tricks singing in Portuguese, like... My problem was I did everything mm. and people couldn't like follow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if I had done that song with, okay, that song with Tricks did kind of pop off. Yeah. But like, I was sure that uh, my objective isn't to be Tricks. That's my, 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 that's my bestie. But I was like, hey, também não posso simplesmente infringe on the man's swag. That's what you did. Tirar a little pump to smoke perp deal. That's what did. So I would just keep it like, okay, I did this song. You guys liked it, but. I like this though, you know, and that would kind of throw off my momentum, you know, um, by the time I get to 2019 and I've already done the art salesman and I'm thinking about more English speaking music, e de repente saem músicas como do Gimeta, yeah. uh, como a tape do Maze Perp, como Pep Drip, uh, epa, eu decidi, então ok, deixa me lá gravar uma música em português, juro, bruh. E a, e a primeira música que eu gravei em português naquele período foi Nico, Dinheiro Te Mudou. Really? Yeah, definitely. I had never done... I hadn't done an attempt yet. Mm, like solo track. You know. Yeah, like solo, because I had been doing attempts through pin pop, you know, like features and yeah. stuff like that. But myself... Oh, because that was the period where I was doing these covers, like these Drake covers yeah. with the guitars <laughs> and stuff like that. You feel me? But um, I was singing a little bit more, which I've been singing more as time passes. Uh... Mas já pode se gravar naquele beat, mandaram-me com o Kenobi, shout out to Kenobi. Yeah, and uh, you, did, did you hear that apparently a galera uma cena que ele, ele he didn't even like that beat. Yeah, he didn't. He sent it to me and he didn't like it. And uh, I showed it to my housemate nos Estados Unidos. Yeah. Mostrei a, a meu housemate e ele disse, it sounds like a typical plug beat. And I said, perfect. <laughs> he said, it sounds typical, it sounds like, like nothing. There's like, there, there's nothing to it. There's nothing like, Mm. extra to it mm. there's nothing like no é um beat que like não tem malabarismos it's a pretty straightforward mm. beat mm. it's a plug beat it sounds like your ev your everyday plug beat yeah. and I was like perfect because we did start plug that's funny but like I hadn't heard nobody really like do that like what I did on a plug song okay. which is sing I sung on a plug song eu tava cantar no Nico Dinheiro te mudou e like 
Quando eu estava a escrever a música, like, I started understanding that mm, this is a mean pocket. You know, I'm not a producer. If I was a producer, seria como esses gajos que de repente, bro, de repente, álbum. Mm. A razão porque eu não fiz álbum is because, uh, you know, I'm a writer, I'm a singer-songwriter. It's more about, like, me catching the vibe and really understanding what it's about. So, Kenobi didn't even like the beat, and as y'all can see, I haven't released another Kenobi beat because... Man, man, didn't even feel that vibe, bro. You feel me? Yeah. He's not trying to say, he's not sending me. I don't have 10 Nico dinheiro to mudou in my email. Yeah. You know? So, um, I recorded it and I had no, eu não, eu não tinha nenhuma expectativa com aquela música. Yeah. Só lancei porque, yeah. And it became um, probably the most impactful, like, moment uh, in my career because people really related to it. So, uh, se, like, se identificaram com a música. Enquanto estava a falar das minhas pauladas. Yeah. Né? Cenas que eu passo pela minha vida, minhas tristezas, blazar, cenas desse gênero, and uh, you know, heartbreak and all of this kind of stuff, which are topics that I've uh, dived deeply into in English, like mm. maning, like subtlety, como tu disseste, tens que ir para um, tens que ir para um urban dictionary para estar a perceber exatamente what this guy's talking about, mas yeah. eu te di clarificar a minha mensagem. Numa realidade moçambicana. Numa realidade moçambicana, numa realidade de eu e a Nick Maga, eu sou moçambicano, eu posso estar nos Estados Unidos, eu posso ser estranho, um, eu posso ser diferente dos outros, mas eu sou moçambicano e, like, we relate, like, não há como. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what I, that's, essa foi a mudança quando o dinheiro te mudou. Yeah. I stopped trying to explain it too hard. Okay. Yeah, I stopped trying to tell, like, paint the most vivid image and I just tried to, like, give you guys, like, the most, like, Like how I feel, like it, just my thoughts in, in Portuguese. Yeah. E, epa, teve um impacto que teve. And obviously, it had a lot of impact, but what's your favorite moment when it comes to like someone that you weren't expecting to listen to, listen to the song or, you know, just, you know, something random that might have happened because of that song, you know. Because of Nico S- some, some guy Nico. did like a cover of that song or a dance video and you're like, I oh, mean, like, uh, yo, shout out to the whole Twitter community. The most beautiful thing was the memes. Like, without a doubt. Like, I don't yeah. get, like some famous people, people who, every time I, I meet somebody, alguém que like, é famoso, é conhecido aqui em Moçambique, eles cantam. Ok, a segunda cena mais bonita é o fato de que quando eu apareço em, em lugares, as pessoas dizem, Nico, o dinheiro que mudou. <laughs> like, that, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm Because like, that. that's something I wrote. Yo, right I wrote that. <laughs> like, you feel me? Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, not only did I write that, But my name is in it. Yes. Do you see how self-indulgent that is? And yeah. people are singing it without feeling as if I'm a douche. Mm. Mm. That's when I figured it out. Like it, it's, it, it seems like a little bit of a douchey thing for you to like say say your name in your own song. Like you know, make a song about you, basically. Yeah. But like the song that was most like me saying my name was the song that people most remembered. Like, mm. you feel me? And it's like it's now it's like stuck to people's heads it's, that there's bro, guy stuck, called they, Nico. They're not doing it to me agradar. Yeah. não dizem Nico dinheiro mudou para me agradar. It's stuck in their heads. Yeah. People listen to that song going to work. People yeah. like w- want to listen to that song, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. They want, they love the song. That makes you proud. That tipo pessoas querem ir para um museu para ver em tua pintura. It's amazing, bro. You don't have to be there. Yeah. It's not you. They're not talking about you. They're talking about the Mona Lisa. Yeah. You know, and you are proud as the, the as the maker. Not yeah. it, you're not it. Yeah. You know, so I love the fact that people loved like something that I, that I wrote and like it stayed with them, and then it made you sentir dessa forma. You know much a community do Twitter whose memes like hey bro I and love you guys there was even a challenge bro. bro there was a challenge there was a challenge the dinheiro te mudou challenge the dinheiro te mudou challenge like yo bro that was beautiful i really loved that because it showed that we were self sufficient yeah até o ponto de que a like bled out to 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 bled out to like outras pessoas e outras massas you mm. know antes de eu aparecer no magazines que vamos falar sobre isso like Nico, o dinheiro te mudou was already like something that Maputo já estava a ficar pequeno, bro. Yeah. Enquanto muitas músicas de atos que têm plays, mas nem bigs, é porque o, o país apanhou. Yeah. Nico, o dinheiro te mudou foi uma cena da town, bro. E não digo isso aí de uma forma ex- de, de excluir. Yeah. Porque eu quero que todo o país escute as minhas músicas. Mas Nico, o dinheiro te mudou, like, 
people loved it so much that it it looked like the whole country was loving that shit. Yeah. You know? So like yeah, I can't thank people enough for the love that they showed to that song. Like eu já fiz muitas músicas e uh, músicas em que eu tô uh, expressar diferentes temas, mas aquela música I felt like Drake, bro. I was just talking about my life. That nigga talks about no social matters. He yeah. don't talk about the war and nothing. <laughs> so, epa, acordei, essa dama tá me estressar. Tenho, tenho mais nenhum dinheiro. You did not believe in me. Like, epa. Papos, bro. Like, for real. And like, people, e branqueamento. <laughs> epa, bro. I was like, yes, sir. You know, this is what I want. You know, this is what I need. E também. O mudar, o mudar do nigga, o dinheiro te mudou, like... Hey, bro. And, you know, it, the interesting thing is a lot of people have been through that change because of money or have seen someone change have because seen of money. seen someone change because of money. So people it's... died. People, yeah, people fell for that, huh? Yeah. They was like on some... Essa, essa expressão, o dinheiro te mudou, like really got to them yeah. in their hearts. And I think when I wrote it, I was really feeling as if... You know, because it, that's the point. People get it completely, like, which is... I'm saying it... I'm saying it as if somebody's saying that about me to para um terceiro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, like, como eles, like, um terceiro está a dizer to somebody else, like, segunda pessoa, terceira pessoa, are saying, like, they're saying, like, yo, that, that nigga changed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, what's up with that nigga? He acting weird. Like, they ain't gonna tell me in my face. Mm. Like, no, type beat. Mm. But, um, I really felt that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really felt that, I, <laughs> I really felt that way. And uh Yeah, bro. Vai pagar esse aqui, né? Tá bem, bro. Leva lá. Um but yeah, like you know, like I really did feel like being in the US and Everybody uh, say hi to King Seasy. Yeah, King Seasy is in the cut. To coming, out soon. To coming out soon. Very soon. Um the chosen one. Being in the US like um I was feeling very isolated, yeah. and when I got back home, sometimes I felt like people looked at me and they wanted to treat me differently. Yeah. Even if it's good, like I was like, "Bro, like what happened?" Like, oh, simplemente mudei para uma melhor situação, melhor entre aspas. E pessoas já estão tipo, ah, isso vai bazar daqui a nada. Pessoas mm. preparam-se previamente para a tua mudança também. Mm. Eles começam a dizer que tu mudaste até antes do dinheiro começar a entrar. Maninho. Vocês estão a entender? So I was like, kind of ah, saying esse it aqui, like... Esse aqui, basta, esse aqui, ah, basta, basta, yeah, 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 um, basta conseguir uma I moeda. Can see it. Yeah. Basta conseguir uma moeda. He's gonna act like he doesn't, he don't know nobody. Yeah. So like, I'm just kind of like announcing it. Like, it's, it's about time, you know? Yeah. All right, so like, then you dropped other singles in between yeah definitely and pride loft, you know yeah. all this kind of stuff and the love just kept on growing and yeah, it kept yeah. on growing and then and then we just see like um, um, um preview i mean before magazines which was the bigger track you already had a track con, con his, yeah, i had already dropped a, a track with daigo yeah I recorded uh magazines before the track i dropped with daigo actually yes i recorded magazines in January, mm. magazines came out in like September. Mm. So I recorded magazines in like January. Uh, and after that, I recorded Taku no which yeah. is one of the singles that I released after Nico Dinirtu Mudo. So, yeah. like, Daigo, about Daigo, bro, like, Daigo's, Daigo's a real one. Shout out Daigo, bro, because this dude does not give a fuck about being the only one on top. Money. He just care about the top. Yeah. You feel me? Like, um, he hit me up because he liked my music. That's all, bro. He didn't think I was a star like that or anything, but he was like, he was like, you got good music. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna hit you up. Make some music for me. So I took the opportunity and I sent him everything I had, bro. Yeah. And the nigga was like, bro, you, you, you hot. Yeah. So uh, he sent me magazines. And when I was going beat the magazines, I said, I'm going to rush God. It's beat. I'm going to trituar. I'm going to trituar this beat. I'm going to render. Were you initially meant to like do the hook or was, was it just a verse? Daigo is a smart man. He just sent me the beat. Mm. Yeah, he just said, Thank you. I said, Ha ha, bro. I did the, the chorus first and then I did the verse. You feel me? So I just went at it and I just sent it to him. Like, what do you think? And he was like, Oh, you know? <laughs> he was like, That shit fire. He loved it. So I had to go to the United States because Daigo wanted to go to the next semester. But Daigo wanted to film that we filmed magazines. 
Naquele time, malta yeah. janeiro, fevereiro. But I left. Yeah. When I came back, Daigo said, oh, you back. <laughs> we, we, we filming this shit. Yeah. So yeah, that was really cool. Like that was a blessing that was already set up uh, mm. before Nico Dinheiro to Mudou, probably. Or and, just like right after. And from there, I think the, the reach got even bigger. Definitely. It got national. National. Like everybody like kind of knew me, even Facebook and all this kind of stuff. Like people... Like, we're really on some, hey, Nico Journey. Hey, that shit was a little bit crazy. I'm going to tell you that. But I'm going to tell you this. Like, I don't take it for, I don't take it too crazily. Yeah. Because I think that fame is something that you just need to do something for, like, fame worthy. Like, be famous for people to, like, know your name. Yeah. But I felt like, o que pessoas estão me a dizer desde 2015, como vocês sabem, eu disse, like, Desde 2015, que pessoas nos dizem que nós somos bons. Mm. So, like, when you start seeing, like, people, like, ah, você uh, é bom. Você é bom, but, like, nothing's você changing. Você é bom. Você... Nothing's changing. So then you're like, is... okay, what's the... What's, what, what's the name name, name five yeah, tracks name from... Five, oh, yeah, name five songs. Like, name something that you really like. Mas você é bom, bro. Você, você é bom. Você é mal. Você é bom. 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 Você I, I can I can hear what this nigga's saying. This nigga's coming. He's coming hella strong at yeah. us. Pause, nigga. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> no homo. Hey, hey whoa. <laughs> hey, brother. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so that's when I felt like people were really on some, hey, Nico Journey, bro. Say, bro. Say my name, like, Fire like and and magazines is in English. Mm. What the fuck? What the fuck was that about? You know, huh? like all of this fucking all, all of this, a sudden like, turn and uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how I recorded it, and I feel like if if I had done it in Portuguese, people would probably be like a little bit more like they'd understand what I'm saying, yeah. but they could feel from my energy and from my uh, charisma yeah. and stuff like this that I'm a star. But and that's what people like really the react. Thing that to. made the beat. Be that instrumental as big as is amazing. It was. Shout out, Mr. Dean. Not just the instrumental, but the vibration that your verse brought to it. You know, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You don't have to understand it, bro. You don't have to know exactly what this guy is saying. As long as you can vibe to that, I'm in the cover of magazines. You know, so like, yeah, it's like, you know, the, the, these things, bro. These uh, things. Bro, you know, I'm in the cover of magazines. This in the this magazine. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yes, sir. So like. All right, cool. Like, now you're this person, you know, like... You know, known, uh, this and that. That would just got you a daily, you know, that, you know. <laughs> you know, Boy. You know yeah. you've, you've done TV. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You rap in Portuguese. I rap in Portuguese. You make bars that are related to the people. Definitely. Where do you see yourself now in the game? You know, like, um, You know, I'm trying to kind of get back into myself uh por isso eu estou a tentar dizer que um, é a hora de eu não ter uh, medo um, <laughs> é a hora de eu não ter uh, medo do que do que é para mim mm. like eu acho que muito por muito da minha vida eu tenho estado like não sensível Uh, por causa de todo o amor like, que eu sinto pela música, todo o todo sofrimento que eu senti para tentar me singrar desta forma, mm. as desilusões que talvez eu tenha tido, tipo, uh, drop out daqui de Moz, ir experimentar fazer uma nova coisa num novo país, mm. um, meus pais estarem numa dripa, fogo, like, o sonho que ele tem é uma coisa que eles não acreditam. É? Ele chama, minha mãe chama da lotaria, a indústria de música. Yeah. So, like, um, eu digo que a partir de agora vocês vão me ver muito mais destemido mm -hmm. e a tomar o que me pertence. Yeah. Basicamente, eu, com, eu, eu apoio a, o co-living like, e, e o ambiente. Eu acho que todos os artistas devem empurrar pelos seus goals. Yeah. meu objetivo não é ser o no, número um entre nós yeah. é realmente eu estar ao, ao máximo uh, das minhas capacidades e por muitos anos, seja a ansiedade a incerteza, escola uh, sempre havia alguma coisa que não me deixava uh, testar os meus limites yeah. e testar até onde eu posso chegar mas um, agora estou sem travões double boys <risos> Ah, 
Pow. That was all right. That was all right. That was all right. Hey, Amen. Um, so, like, what can we expect from you now? Like, what's been? I have an album on? coming out this year. Um, it's called "Blinded by Love." Yeah. Date, English, Portuguese. Uh, in Portuguese. I don't want to repair the album. It's my first album to sing. Wow. Um, and yes, I. By the way, you're actually a very good singer. Ah, thank you so much. Like something a bit off the topic, but you like. Is it making sense at all? Sorry. But you're like a really, really dope singer. Thank you. I got better at it. I didn't sing well. Is it? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I really wow. didn't sing well. That's um, interesting. But I started to, I taught myself how to sing progressively that a volta de pessoas como tricks também mm. uh, tricks canta maning yeah, yeah. tricks ele also sings não, well ele, ele tinha uma boa voz yeah. mas quando tricks foi pro chiquitzi he just like transcended he has mm. a coisa de malta music school like vocal training yeah vocal training is really important so like he would used to, he used to tell me like you have to warm up your voice yeah. you have to do this you have to do Nessa that so I started just kind of started singing and not that you know like so I kind of started incorporating that and I have more control now yeah. and thank you definitely epa quero ser uma voz uh, para Moçambique. Yeah. Então. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for Yo, that. it's coming. 2021 is the year. So, like, now, on this, on, in 2021, for my episodes, I'm doing this new thing where, instead of, like, asking my guests to, you know, drop a, what's it called? Drop. Now. Uh, like, you get a hashtag and then everyone mentions there. I think we need to, like, get people to do more. So, like, I want to know from you, what are the things that you, Nico, have been doing to push culture that a regular person that's watching this could also do, not as an artist, but just someone that's watching this, and they have this drive within them to, like, be a difference in the game. So, um, like, escutem muita música moçambicana, expressem as vossas opiniões, expressem, tirem. Se não gostaram, se gostaram, tirem, uh, criem, debatam. Yeah. 2014, 2013, ficamos a debater. MMG, o oh young man. Hey, man, Rick Ross, não sei o que é, não, 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 like, just debate about it and, like, compare it all. E uh, criem standards, mm. categorizem e façam rankings, mm. honestamente falando. Uh, porque isso é saudável. Yeah. Por mais que pessoas acham que isso é um pouco desconfortável. Yeah. É saudável. Um, cria mais de um senso de que o sim que nós estamos a ter é um sim que tu podes comparar malta 2018 com 2019, por exemplo. O que nós fizemos de 2015 até 2018, bro, está tudo amalgamado numa cena. Like, não tem nenhum documento, não tem nenhuma like, conclusão. Não temos, tá vendo, tu disseste plug, por exemplo, mas it's crazy, like, eu, eu, eu não tinha dito, eu não tinha posto na minha mente that that's what we were doing. Yeah. Like, because nobody named it, nobody commented on it, nobody yeah. said what we were, they were just like, nice. Yeah. Hey, esse gajo tem beats. <laughs> Eba, por exemplo, o que tá acontecendo hoje no hip hop, dá para segmentar os movimentos. Yeah. Like, e saber se, comparar a cena, você dizer, ei, hey, compara lá. Bander com, com, com duas caras, like, mm. bro, like, tens que ter a confiança de dizer, bro, não, não é a mesma coisa. Yeah. Uma cena turn up music, outra cena é mais consciente, não sei o que que é, like, yeah. uh, considerem essas categorias, epa, tenham nomes, green green, o que for, mano. Yeah. De La Vega disse que é rei de um green green, tô um pouco confused. Pois De La Vega, o rei de um green green, diamantes que dançam. Então, Mr. Bau e De La Vega, estão no mesmo gênero. Mano. Como maninho. Se Dela Vega era do Green Green, bro. Só por By isso, the way, então. eu sou fã número um de Dela Vega. Eu fui o primeiro gajo a curtir de Linda Jimo, bro. Como? SoundCloud. Eu, eu fui um dos primeiros. Eu fui play número um. That was me. Ele play deu número Linda um. Eu caí quando escutei aquele beat. Yeah. Escutei mal de dez vezes seguidas. Bro. A achar. Bro. Sabe, e não, e não tenho lugares desse. Olha, 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 like, eu sou, eu sou um, uma pessoa, like, que conhece o Kevin, né, Manel, de verdade. Like, eu só vou dizer a cena aqui on cam, like, eu tava nos Estados Unidos quando aconteceu aquela cena, bro. Eu não estava a perceber o que tava acontecendo com esse jovem. <laughs> like, de verdade. We've spent so many moments together. This had never come up. You know what I'm saying? This it. was not in it. the cards. I've spent a lot I of time it. with this nigga, bro. Like, 
Hey. Eu estava nos States, eu estava tipo, bro, o que é que está a acontecer? I called him and he just left. <laughs> so, like, hey, shout out to this nigga. Bro, all I did was laugh, bro. I was like, Rachei, bro, Rachei, Rachei. Rachei, Rachei, Rachei. Dez vezes seguida, Rachei. Liguei para ele, ele disse, yeah. No, no, he didn't dismiss ah, he didn't dismiss it. He said, yeah, he went like, he didn't, you know, I'm his friend, but he didn't want to tell me like, yo, bro, if I plan, no, it's a plan. Yeah. This is what's happening. Bro. Yeah. And the man is like, not, uh, I'm not so controlled, né? Tipo, eh, hey, not that it's controlled, but tipo, he doesn't like box himself in. So. Exactly. I think that's you know the best way to put it. Otherwise, people will miss, miss, will miss But this is not real hip hop. <sighs> that's a... Uh... That's a discussion that can, you know, can be left for... Ah, uh, yeah, fica para outro. Fica para uma outro, outra ocasião. Uma outra plataforma. Uma outra, não, yeah, eu, yeah, não, não, não. Ele está dizendo, não, 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 não. Bro, I'm acceptive of everything. This is some nice real hip-hop. You got bars. Drop your bars. I'm a listen. Eu ainda não ouvi De La Vega dizer nada acerca de um ventrículo. Como é que é real hip-hop essa cena? Wow. So that's the challenge for him now. So you heard it. You heard it, De La Vega. You heard it, Pai de la Vega. He has to drop ventriculo numa das barras, man. man. Come on, man. And he has to do it in Xertepu. To make it even harder. I win. Yeah. To make it even harder. Definitely, bro. Hey, man. Nico, I don't know if you have anything else to say as we grow, as we've come to the end of this episode. Straight from Santorini. Aqui na Matola. Na Maputwit Bank. Just a bit after Orca. Eki, Santorini, come through, come check it out, guys. Nico Definitely. Journey. Santorini is amazing. This is I want to say thank to you shine. to you yeah. guys for supporting me. I want to say thank you for Alan. Yeah. Uh, for Thanks. being who he is, bro. Like, é manning necessário isto. E, epa, Godspeed to everybody. You know, this life thing is not easy and it's not linear. Yeah. And I think that's what o que tem se mostrado com o percurso de muitos artistas moçambicanos, então, epá, só fiquem, stay in the ride, you know? Yeah. Pá, just take it all in stride. Yeah. E espero que vocês fiquem orgulhosos com os trabalhos que eu vou lançar este ano. Yeah. Um, apoiem música moçambicana, como sempre. Pizza vai ganhar hoje. E... Yeah. Pizza uh, co-sign. It's going to be the first Mozambican ever to be yeah, posted on uh, Genius's. Yeah, pizza is going to be, uh, is gonna be um, on Genius on the main um, page. Genius's Instagram page, bro. So, yeah, y'all better Hopefully, like. Hopefully, some Air Nar nigga is going to like come across the stuff that really likes Yo, the, nah, his definitely, kind of sound. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Them that would Air be Nar dope. niggas, bro. Y'all better know I'm, I'm friends with pizza. That would be and dope, And like, man. yeah, to the, to the whole game. Qualquer pessoa que sabia do meu nome, mas não estava a matratar, parece que eu sou mau. Like, oh, tu a bater. Estou a pedir não me começarem a me tratar bem depois de eu bater. Essa cena não faz sentido. <laughs> não vou gostar, não vou apreciar. Pau. For real, bro. Y'all have like two months. Mm. Honestly speaking. So that means that your album is coming out in two months. I'm, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come, That's what nigga. she said. That's what she said again. Anyways... That's it. Muito obrigado a todos que assistiram esse episódio até agora, man. Muito obrigado, Nico Journey. Muito obrigado, Santorini. Jared the Plug. Shout out. Shout out, King C's Escolhido. Shout out, Mad K. Shout yeah, out. Yeah. Um, shout out to King hey, man. Shout, shout out, out to Mad Kiz. Shout out to everybody, bro. Shout out, culture. Peace out.